a unit train in Chennai due to a defect in the engine goes at 5.8 of its usual speed and arrives at 6.49 p.m. instead of 5.55 p.m. So at what time did it start usually? Right, at what time did it start usually? So basically it's talking about a train which has got a defect in its engine and because of that it goes at 5.8 of its usual speed and arrives at 6.49 p.m. instead of 5.55 p.m. So at what time did it start usually is the question. At what time did it start usually is the question. See first and foremost we have to understand the difference in these two times 5.55 p.m. to 6.49 p.m. It usually arrives at 5.55 p.m. but today it was late. Late because of that defect in the engine because of which it had to run at a slower speed. Now how much is the difference 5.55 and 6.49? How many minutes? See 5 minutes to 6 here and 49 minutes after 6 here. So totally 54 minutes. It was laid by 54 minutes. Yes or no? 5.55 to 6.49. You understand? From 5.55 to 6 o'clock, I am sure it's not very difficult for, to, for us to find out the difference here. You should be able to do it mentally basically. 5.55 to 6 p.m. is 5 minutes and this is 49 minutes after 6 p.m. So 5 minutes plus 49 minutes, right? 5 plus 49, 54 minutes, right? Or what you can do is convert this to 24 hour clock. 5.55 p.m. is like 17.55 hours and 6.49 is like, you know, 18.49 hours. There, there also you'll have to use this logic of 5 minutes plus 49 minutes, but maybe that makes easier for some of you. So 54 minutes is the difference. Now, what happens? See, the distance covered is same in both the cases. The distance is same. From Chennai, whichever destination, the distance covered is same. Only thing is there are two different cases. Distance is what speed into time. So let me say S1 into T1 and S2 into T2. Case 1, speed and time. Case 2, speed and time. Now let's assume usual speed is S. So usual time is T. Usual speed is S. Usual time taken is T. In the next case, usual speed is 5 8 of S. 5 by 8 into S. Usual speed is 5 by 8 into S. And the usual time is T plus 54. T plus 54. Remember it took 54 minutes extra. It was late by 54 minutes. It's not early. It was late by 54 minutes. So if you usually it takes T minutes, this time it took T plus 54 minutes. Simplify. S gets cancelled on both the sides. S is cancelled on both the sides. That's it. You're done. 8T equals to 5T plus 5 into 54 is 270 minutes. Which implies 8T minus 5T. 3T is 270 minutes or T is equal to 90 minutes. Which is 1 and a half hours. So usually it takes... 1.5 hours. T is the usual time. Remember 1.5 hours. Done. He is not asking us to find out the usual time. He is saying at what time does it start usually. So the point is from the starting time from the start time plus 90 minutes should be equal to the usual stop time 5.55 p.m. So from 5.55 subtract 90 minutes you will get the start time. So start time is going to be 555 minus 90 minutes. So 555 minus 60 minutes. 1 hour is 455. 455 minus uh, 30 minutes is 425. So 425 p.m. is the answer. Please do not go by the length of the explanation or the number of steps that you have put here. Many of these steps are just for the sake of explanation. You can, you can cut down all these steps. Most of the steps, right? Like this is only a simple explanation that it is S1 into T1 equals to S2 into T2. You should start with this point in my view. Start with this point, find out T and then this is a mental calculation. You don't have to put this on paper. I've just written it here so that all of you can follow. This calculation can be done mentally, right? What time should a train start if it has to reach at 5.55 p.m. after a one and a half hours travel? It will be 4.25 p.m. So not a very lengthy solution, right? 4.25 is the final answer without putting much of effort.